Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So, um, first things first, we've had a half decent bounce off uh, this structure here. There it is, there. Did get a bit of uh, confusion here, and we're drifting higher at the moment. Uh, no diversions or anything to speak of. We are in an uptrend, so obviously, we are looking for opportunities to buy on the DAX. Um, you know, the, the Dow is looking a bit weird. So uh, a little bit cautious at the moment, I think, is probably the, the wise thing to be. So uh, from the three-hour perspective, buying off the bottom here, moving up to the top, does look like we have a bit of a flag break here. And I'll just use the channel tool to make a clarity. There it is there. So um, normally when you see that kind of thing, you would expect your measured moves to play out. Uh, however, we haven't had a retest of it, so and the retest is going to be back down at uh, 15276 right now. Oscillators group to the upside, um, no doubt versions, nothing, nothing sinister that look that we can see here. But if we just get to the hour, have a look at what happened yesterday. So that's pure sideways price action there. Uh, you can also just block it out there at your range. So we're top of range at the moment. Wouldn't be too surprised to see us move back to the downside and stay in this range. Um, I'm a little bit cautious. So if you are holding on to longs at the moment, you know, I just start putting some uh, some stops up, start moving stops below the structure, and probably even take some uh, some of them off the table at the moment, uh, just in case. You can always add to positions later on. But if you're in profit and some of the stuff, I'd be taking it out. Um, I'm not so comfortable with what we're seeing here. So it could be a bigger range. So uh, what I mean by that is, let me just delete that and delete that. Could be a bigger range like that. So in other words, this is the top of range, pull back down. Or it could also be we're looking to break to the upside. So you can see sort of a head and shoulders, there's a shoulder. There's a shoulder, double head, um, or even you know, big cup and handle here. So there is quite a bit of bullish structure, um, but then there's also indications that we are extremely tired at the moment. If you look at what's going on in the daily here, here you can see diversions at the moment. So that is the one thing. And ultimately, it's been a good run up, so I would expect some kind of a pullback. If you look at the weekly, we've got a bit of a double top on the oscillators as well. And uh, but we're still going higher, so uh, not out, not all doom and gloom here. But uh, I just think cautious. I need to be cautious at the moment because we have had a really good run and we're getting into some solid resistance. So um, I'd be very, very, very cautious. If we start dropping below this trend line, that would indicate we're going to probably have a deeper pullback, and that deeper pullback would probably be back down to the bottom of the range at 15.276. So that's kind of my view at the moment, but uh, personally, I'm going to be sitting on the sides. Uh, yesterday was a bit chaotic and uh, nothing really on office. Some small losses made, but uh, that's typical of when we're ranging. So for me, I'm not interested in trading ranges. I don't think the break is going to be uh, a decent enough trade. Uh, we are extremely oversold on the higher time frame. So whatever we break the upside is probably going to be short lived. You're better off looking for structure lower down. And even if we do break this trend line and we drop to the downside here, uh, it just comes to the bottom of a bigger uh, range and would probably offer a bit of a better opportunity to buy into it. Uh, we also have something in the middle of this range right there, uh, which has been tested as well uh, twice yesterday. But uh, yeah, if you look at yesterday's price action, this after hours stuff, I'm not really interested in that at the moment. So I'm not going to read anything into that. This is the one that I want to see. You can see big downs and then we sort of drifted higher, drifted higher. So it wouldn't surprise me to see us sort of break the downside, destroy all the bullish sentiment here and uh, start moving to the bottom of the range. But dropping below the bottom of the range, then you start having a little bit of a... Um, bigger problem on hands if you're holding on to longs because that would be a double top and would basically mean you're moving back down to the bottom of this structure 
still in a bull trend, still upward, but uh, a retest and a rejection could set up a next leg down. And that's always the, the worry that you've got. So for me at the moment, I am sitting quietly on the sides and paying very close attention to what uh, is going on in this area here. As soon as we start dropping, it uh, would be time for the lower time frame to start picking up some scalps to the downside. So you can see on the five minutes above and below the moving averages, nothing really worth trading yesterday. Okay, anyway, that's it for me. I uh, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.